Hello, good people. It is I Talk Apple, obviously, of course. And no, I am not copying Mac OS X Tutorials 12 with this intro. He made me say it because in my last video I asked how I should start and end my videos, and he's been begging me slash asking politely ever since. So if you would like to check out Matt Fisher at youtube.com slash macOSXtutorials12. Um, I'll have a link in the description. Maybe I'll add an annotation. I never add annotations on my video, so don't count on it. But that's not what this video is about. This video is kind of like an extension to my last video, which was all about preview, stuff you didn't know. And this is another thing you can do in preview and pages. So I'll show you both applications and what I'm talking about. So, have you ever run into this problem? Most of you probably have if you do creative things like make websites in iWeb or something and you drag an image into a shape or something or you have a background and um, the image has a white box around it because it's not transparent in the background. I'm going to show you how to get this white image out without going to some fancy image editing applications such as Photoshop and using the magic wand tool or the magic eraser tool or the magnetic lasso tool. So you can do this in pages or preview. I'm going to go up to format. Actually, make sure you have your image selected. Then go to format, instant alpha, and it gives you little instructions here. Click the color you want to make transparent, then drag. And as you drag, the selection will grow. So basically, it detects what colors you want to delete. So I'm going to delete this white background. All I have to do with this image, since it's so simple, is click. I don't have to drag because there's not much else to delete. Um, and then click out of it, and you'll see it has a transparent background now. You do get this little shadow at the bottom, but I don't personally mind that. You could try to take that out, but it'll probably end up deleting the whole border of the iPhone. Next image I'm going to show you is a goofy picture of me holding this Mac thing. And so let's say I want to take out the background. This is going to be a lot harder because there's a bunch of colors in it. So I'm going to go back to Format, Instant Alpha, and click and drag out any colors. This would take a pretty long time to do, but um, I'm not going to do the whole thing because, like I said, it would take too long. So I probably just skipped through most of that section, but you can see what I'm doing is just clicking and dragging out parts. I actually deleted my arm and I didn't notice, but I'm not going to undo anything. So now I'm just going to click outside, and there's my image. Yes, I know it's terrible, but um, I'll show you another way you can do it, which is in preview, and for this type of image, it's easier. So there's that. I know that looks really bad, but if you do take time, it'll look a lot better. So... In preview, there's actually two ways you can do this. First method, I'm going to use the iPhone picture because it's a lot easier. All you have to do is hold down the select button and choose instant alpha. Same thing. Click and drag. This is good enough. And press return or enter to crop the image. So there it is. Um, and now if I were to save it, it would have a transparent background. Next one is the picture. And here it is. This one's different. Still hold down the select button. But instead you're going to choose extract shape. So you drag around there you want to extract. So basically you're going to make an outline. So you get the crosshair and just gonna make it. You want to make a really um, broad outline. You can actually go outside of the image.
and make sure that you close the outline. Once you close it, you're going to get all these little, um, I don't know what to call them, these little white things. And you can actually drag them and refine your outline. So I can drag certain ones down if I wanted to, like so. That would really take a long time. But that's why this method is better than the one in pages because it's um, more accurate. So let's say that's all I want to do. You just press enter and so most of your image has been um, deleted but now you can click and drag other areas to map out as well and this way is definitely a lot faster surprisingly than pages with better results that looks good enough for me I'll press enter and there you go so still not great but compared to the first one that I did which was in pages Um, the one I, that I did in preview is obviously much better. That's it for this quick tutorial about extracting images in both preview and pages. I hope it helps. I use this a lot and um, before I end the video, I just want you guys to answer a question in the comments. So the question is what should I make for my next video? I have ideas, I just don't know which one to pick. And I've asked people on Twitter, but since not everyone follows me on Twitter, I figure it's more fair to ask with the video. So, first option is a review of the case that I'm using on my iPhone right now, which is the iSkin Solo FX. It's a really nice case, I like it a lot. If you want to see, whoopsie, <laughs> if you want to see a full review, then tell me in the comments. Second option is the review of iStop Motion made by Boinks Software. Um, Boinks also made Boinks TV. If you don't know what that is, then just Google it or something. And it's um, a stop motion video editing program. And that is actually the last one that I have to review before I can give away six applications. So, yeah. Or you can just put a random suggestion in the comments. And don't worry, I will make a room tour eventually. Um, I'm getting a new desk probably in a couple of weeks. And when I do get it, I'll make um, a new set of video. So those are the options, or you can make one up. Just please, I want to I wanna know what you guys like to see. Um, I have not done an iPhone case review before, but I'm good at reviewing other products, so I figure I'll be good at that. So if you want me to review this case, comment, or the application, or something else. So yeah. And for this video, and this video only, because I will never say this again, Mac OS X Tutorials 12 made me. Peace out, Boy Scout!